Mariah Carey. How are you? I haven't I'm, seen you in a while. I know, it's been a while. You're looking fantastic. You're well? As, as are you. Yes, I'm good. Thank, Thank you. you. Very, very much. And uh, <laughs> wow, we just uh, heard your new single, Touch My Body. Uh -huh. Ow! You love to drive us wild. <laughs> Might as well. Someone's got to do it. No. That track hits the spot big time. <laughs> well, we're just really excited because a lot of big things going on with the single in America. Mm. And this could be a really exceptionally great day for me because totally. of the numbers that I heard about the downloads and the, all yeah. the stuff that's just like, thank you. To, thank God and thank the fans. Touch My Body is a great track of a great album called E equals MC squared. Yes. Have you always been a physics fan? Always, ever since I failed remedial math. <laughs> I literally dropped out of math like in seventh grade. I couldn't handle it. Yeah. I just, and it's crazy because my father worked on. He was a brain box. The, yeah, he was so mathematical that mm. I'm like, I didn't get that particular gene. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, me and you both. <laughs> we, we, uh, we took the liberty of trying to work out what equals MC squared might mean in Mariah Carey's world, and we thought mm -hmm. it means entertainment equals Mariah Carey squared. Well, I thank you. That's a, that's a big compliment. I meant emancipation ah. because the last album being called the Emancipation of Mimi, yeah, um, kind of made it make sense with the E equals M C to the second power. Delicious. Cause it's like you know, Emancipation yeah. Part Two and kind of times two. It works on know? so many levels. Yeah, and I think it's funny because of the fact that you know, mm. clearly uh, Einstein and I have so much. In common. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see you. You're still excited by it all because. You know, it's your 10th studio album, that's, uh, well, you debuted in 1990. Mm -hmm. That's like 18 years of musical shenanigans. Which is amazing you... because I wasn't even born yet, so I don't know how it, that happened. Exactly, you were performing from <laughs> the womb. Well, you put so much of yourself into your album. I mean, do you get nervous by people's reactions, chart positions, or do you not give a flying freak? Honestly, I don't give a flying freak. Good for you. I care about my, my real fans, and I care about what's making me happy as an artist in terms of self-expression. So. We just spoke chart positions, and I was wondering, because you've had 17 U.S. number one mm -hmm. singles. Uh, that's only one behind Elvis, three behind the Beatles. Would you like to stick it to Elvis and the Beatles? Oh, come on. I mean, no matter what, they're Co historical I mean, figures. That would be endless. exciting to be bigger than, you know, to get more number ones than Elvis and the Beatles. Well... I mean, the Beatles changed the world, and clearly I'm not, you know, I, I don't think that I'm contributing to history or anything. I mean, like, but in a way, I guess as a female artist, you know, accomplishing these these types of things and, and breaking records and things like that, it is uh, it is a huge deal for me mm. because it hasn't been done by a female before. Yeah. So that's... Um, an emancipating moment and that's something that makes me feel really proud. Undeniably you're up there with those with the ultimate musical legends like your Beatles and your Elvises. I tell you where else is legendary though. Your deaverish reputation. Oh that's, that I is mean, legendary. I, I looked in the Oxford <laughs> English Dictionary under Diva uh -huh. it said see Mariah Carey. Yeah, right. I'm joking it didn't really. <laughs> what it did say are two things it said a uh, a distinguished woman singer or be an extremely temperamental woman. Which uh, best describes you? Wait, now, which dictionary did you look at? That's the in? Oxford English Dictionary. I've been hearing diva since I was mm. little because my mother sang opera, was an opera singer, still sings. She sang jazz and she sings all different types of music. But the thing that was it's funny to me is like I heard my whole life my mother was always like so and so is very much the diva and da 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 but she didn't mean it in a negative way like yeah. in that world being a diva is a huge compliment but now that the word has become like you know just synonymous with basically calling someone a bitch on one hand it's an insult and the other hand to me it's a compliment so okay. if they want to call me a diva cool I don't, I don't think that I really have like these diva behavioral moments but even if someone's working for you, if you're like the nicest person in the world, they'll just be like, whatever. How about Mariah the Musical? Well, you know, what's interesting is I'm actually working on a project right now. You just nicked my idea. You just heard no, my idea and you thought, oh, no, I, I'm working on that right there's now. There's another element to it. It's based on my Christmas uh, song, All I Want for ah. Christmas is You, which... Um, has been here in the UK, I know. And it's, it's a smash hit again, until like <laughs> 10 years on, and it's back again. It's, I mean, this song is incredible. Well, the point is, the Christmas album itself, a lot of people say they, they really love it and they listen to it at the holidays, and I'm so festive. And so uh, I had this idea to um, 
to do this thing, and I was... We're going to see you are going to do a, a musical. It'll be a, a movie with music. I don't know how it'll end up getting done, but I do know that, you know, it's uh, there are some oh, very exciting details about that, too, and about mm. who's involved in writing it. Mm. I'm very excited about uh, our Your upcoming idea. project. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love our upcoming project. <laughs> uh, Mariah, you're about to perform That Chick from the album. Yes. Anything you would uh, care to share with us about this track? Um, this is a lot of people's favorite um, track on the album. I like it a lot. I kind of took the approach when writing it. Um, lyrically, is more of like a, kind of like a, a rapper would write about themselves or whatever, yeah. rather than how you know I would normally write a song. That was my little, you know, that okay. was my little uh, mindset. Fantastic. Well, all the staff <laughs> now is to hear it. Uh, more from Mariah after the break. But right now, here's that chick.